Hello there. I uh, wanted to give everybody a little uh, overview on this uh, 0018E, uh, the 0018E circulator from Taco. Um, this is one of their newer ECM circulators. I'm gonna go ahead and cover that light up just so you can see there. Um, it's got an adjustable dial on the front and it allows you to adjust from uh, Bluetooth setting mode uh, TRV is thermostatic radiator valves. Um, it's just basically going to help uh, select a curve that's going to, or a variable speed curve that's going to operate well with uh, a couple of different settings on TRV. Zone valve is also the same. Uh, ZV is going to be, at, like, let's say you're going to use this as a, uh, z a zone group circulator. You've got four or five uh, zone valves on a little heating system and this is going to pump or circulate through those zone valves. Uh, the other side over here from min to max is infinitely adjustable uh, zone circulator setting. So pretty cool there. Um, let's pop over to the app and I can show you what that guy looks like. So the app is actually ECM circulator. You can download that on the app store or Google Play. Um, you can play with it in the demo mode. Otherwise, if you just select the 0018E, when you're in uh, proximity of that circulator, it's gonna automatically uh, pick that up and start connecting. It's not going to immediately allow you to adjust. It's just gonna allow you to see the settings. So as soon as we get connected here, it's gonna display what our, what our actual operating point is. So currently in the bottom, you'll see the bottom left, you'll see that 8.95 gallons per minute, 10 feet of head, 42 watts and 4,000 RPM. Right now, I've got the circulator dials pretty much at the max setting. So consequently, it is running on wherever our system curve is. If we followed this line up and down here um, from zero, zero up through where our actual system operating point is at. Uh, if I turn the dial down, we'll see that start to adjust. Um, you'll see that drop down and the uh, electronics in the circulator are actually going to start calculating where at on that uh, curve we're going to be at. Um, across the top um, there, if you try to select those, it's going to ask you to go ahead and put it in, uh, in communication mode. And to do that, we're basically just going to turn the dial all the way to the Bluetooth setting. And then we get the options to go ahead and select those. So now we've overridden the dial on the front of the circulator. And right now it's in the TRV mode. If we did it on zone valve, we'd have the option to select basically how many zone valves we would have. If um, we had one down at the bottom, it's only going to operate within that curve. So from this horizontal line and then down on this portion of the curve, whoops, it'll just basically fill in that lower box. And uh, if we let it operate for a few minutes, it's going to try and calculate an RPM that is uh, equivalent in that uh, zone box. Um, if we bump these up and try tell it to operate a little bit faster and higher, it's going to do that. It's gonna try and find its happy point um, and operate there. Um, ironically, if you notice when we first started uh, on the video, the point that it's at right now is at the roughly 100% uh, full speed operation. That's the uh, system operating point when the, with this circulator running at full speed. It doesn't matter really which mode you're going to be in. If you've got it, uh, the circulator commanded to be 100%, it's going to give you the same gallons per minute and feet of head loss, relatively the same. Uh, regardless of whatever curve you're uh, operate or operating mode you've got it set in. Uh, there is an active adapt mode. The active adapt mode is going to uh, also look at uh, head changes and RPM changes, gallon per minute changes, and try to actively calculate where the uh, appropriate operating point is at. And if we um, don't have any adjustment on the active adapt. That's kind of like an auto mode. Uh, TRV is going to give you five different, or I believe it's seven different settings, eight different settings there, um, that it will try to run that uh, thermostatic radiator valve setting in. If we go to zone valves, like say it's going to be zone valves, zone circ basically allows you to drag this slide bar back and forth 
and it's going to show you where the operating point is at at 40%. Uh, if you want to set this circulator up as a fixed speed circulator and you don't want it to change or, or have any variable, set it at whatever you want it to be at and uh, that's where it'll operate. Uh, for instance, if we switch back to my camera here, so right now you'll see we're in that Bluetooth mode. But if we come over here to our boiler, you could uh, potentially look at a delta T setting and say, okay, you know what, 20 degree delta T, that's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, maybe that's the operating point you want to be at. Uh, if you've got calculations set up, you may also find that, um, that you can dial your actual GPM of flow rate that you want for that circuit, that heating circuit, and you can do that right through this. So if, for instance, we wanted to hit uh, 6.5 gallons per minute, we could move this up and down just a little bit and increase our setting, see where it stabilizes and say, well, you know what, 6.5, 6.6, that's gonna get us right in the realm of where we wanna try it. Um, so anyway, it's a pretty handy tool for uh, balancing a circuit. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, you know, installation goes, there isn't anything you have to do. You don't have to have active Wi-Fi. Um, your device doesn't have to be in direct contact with this in order for it to operate. Um, if you just leave it in Bluetooth mode and you walk away from it, it's going to stay in whatever mode you last left it in. So if you, like currently right now, we've got it set at 60% or so um, on fixed speed. When I walk away, that's what it's going to be at. So you don't have to worry about resetting the dial to get that to work. So anyway, I wanted to give you just a, a quick overview on that uh, 0018 or the 0018E uh, ECM circulator by Takeo Comfort Systems. All right, have a good day.